Extract the download onto your desktop, open up the Evasion folder. You should see the Evasion app there. We want to right click on there, select Run as Administrator, and select Yes on the User Access Control portion, and there you go. You should have Evasion loaded up and ready to go. Step 3. Make sure you have your passcode lock disabled on your iOS device. Plug your iOS device into your computer. The Evasion tool should detect your device. This one's a hard one. Click the jailbreak button and make sure it connects to your device. Just like in the Windows tutorial, this step is the longest step because this is what really gets things going. It prepares the jailbreak data. You'll see various messages injecting step one jailbreak data. And I've actually sped this portion of the tutorial up just because otherwise you'd be listening to me talk for an extended amount of time. So you should see these messages. Your device should look like my device in this situation, waiting for device to reboot. And you can see in the bottom right hand corner I have a screenshot or a video of my device so you guys can kind of see if your device matches up with what's going on on my screen. So make sure all the matches, the messages match up. Uploading Cydia now. Uploading Cydia packages list. And that's pretty much all with this step. Now you will see a message on your device that's flashing asking you to continue. Please unlock your device and tap the new jailbreak app icon there. So there it is on the second screen. Tap it just now we're definitely in the home stretch. It's going to inject a remail payload. You're going to see several messages here and then you're going to see your device reboot a few times here. So just be patient. Root file system successfully mounted. Preparing final jailbreak data. You should see the evaders logo pop up briefly and go away. Again, I've sped this up a little bit for your convenience so you're not waiting here. Let's finish up with the final.